Hello folks, Dan for Shizzle here. Um, right, we're back again with some Royal Vapor Juices. Um, I'm just going to drag up some information here. Now, I've been sent some more flavours by Royal Vapor. Um, I did a review for Royal Vapor about a week ago. And... about a week ago and um, all good flavours but I was then contacted by, by Royal Vapor saying that they've changed a, a couple of things since I was sent those juices for review so I've been sent out some more we've got quite a few but we're not gonna, not gonna do all of them at once we're gonna do we're gonna do five at a time I think so first up we've got Fruity Fox I'm gonna do the focus on these bottles I didn't do it last time properly just so I can show you these bottles because they are I don't want to zoom I want focus there you go because they are really really nice bottles um, they're all glass so handy for me as someone who carries bottles around in his pocket it's very handy for me to, for it to be a glass bottle um, reason for that being is I have had the odd accident where I'm walking I sit down somewhere and because I have basically a fat ass, I'll sit down and the juice just go everywhere so and that's because the pressure squeezing on the plastic has forced the top off now are these being glass and bloody solid glass I've not had any issues doing what I would normally do I've got to stop looking at myself I've got to look straight ahead right anyway so we're gonna do fruity forest we're gonna do raspberry we're gonna do grape we're gonna do cool lemonade and then last but not least we are gonna do raspberry menthol I'm gonna be using K100 and my new E Baron clone YK free dripper thingamajiggy. Um, it might be quite a weird atty to use for juice reviews, but I think I think it's actually going to make it a bit easier because I can direct on the coil two or three drops, and it give me accurate accurate flavour. So this is what I bought this atomizer for is reviews. So, but I haven't put it down since it arrived. We won't go there. Right, first up, we are going to do raspberry. All of these juices are 18 milligrams at 70, 30 VG and PG. Now these are glass bottles, and they do they do have little droppers on them, like so. What you have to do to get these juices out, I have found a little trick. If you tip and then you go upside down just get in a little, and there it drips out let's see if I can get to do that again <laughs> upside down and then you see a drip that is it, that is how you drip out of these bottles it is pretty it's pretty self explanatory but it's something that had me using a syringe for a little while when I first got these bottles but then I figured it out since I'm not sure if it's something they've changed in a recent batch of bottles, but for the last the last batch I received, I did not figure that out. So <laughs> make of that what you will. Anyway, back to the juice. We want two drops directly on the coil. And put the lid back on All right this is a freshly charged battery as well the coil sits at 1.9 ohms so the vapor production off of all of these juices is going to be out of this world because they are 70 VG 
30 PG so expect huge huge clouds of vapour really good vapour production like so right raspberry now I've had a couple of raspberries in the past and they were good but as with all royal vapor fruit juices they just excel they are they're, they're like if you could if you could pick what you wanted your juice to taste like now I, I don't make juices I only buy in juice but if you could pick a raspberry flavor I think you would pick that one it is just a really really punchy raspberry it's really good raspberry flavor um, throat hit now being 70 VG the throat hit isn't going to be as big as you are used to if you are vaping 50-50 or 70-30 the other way so bear that in mind but for me it's still a good throat hit now I like a lot of throat hit that is why I sub ohm on this and this but on the e-baron I'm getting really good throat hit so I'll leave that up to you right that was raspberry next up we're gonna go to we're gonna go to fruity forest now from the picture on the on the thing I see raspberries I see blueberries I see blackberries and strawberries so gonna be a very 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 bleh, a very very mix now this is 70 30 again all of roll vapors juices are 70 30 so we can get that right out of the bat and all of the juices I'm reviewing today are gonna be at 18 milligrams so alright unscrew this again now all we want again is two drops directly on the coil One, two, and then we are ready to go. I'm trying to put the lid from the bottle onto the e-baron instead of the other way around. Sorry about that. All right. Now, the most predominant flavour for me in this. It's probably blueberry. Now, it's just a really, really nice, nice, nice berry mix. Um, definite, definitely, there's got to be some blueberry in there because I can really taste blueberry. I really, really can taste blueberry. Um, hope I'm not wrong because that would be quite embarrassing but it's definitely definitely is a big old blueberry kick and rather nice again vapor production epic throat hit adequate it's not the best but it's adequate all right on to I think we go to grape now these are 70 foot all of 30 70 foot I'm not gonna say that anymore all right Great is a flavour that I have had. Excuse me. Is a flavour I've had from a few vendors now. Um, it's quite the difficult flavour to emulate in a vapour for me. And that is because when you smell the grape, hmm, it smells lovely. But that smell you might not associate with what you taste but we'll go into that in a second alright we want two drops one two oh and one on my finger
Now you see, the smell smells exactly like grape juice, like you would buy in a carton and you would drink, but the taste does not associate the smell with me on this juice. Um, yeah, it sort of tastes like grape, but it doesn't taste as nice as it smells. Um, again, vapor production very good, throat hit adequate. Yeah, it's just not as as strong a flavor as you would expect, considering how strong it smells. All right, we'll leave that one there, but. It's still a decent grape flavour. I mean, I can still taste grape. It still tastes like grape, but it's not the way that smell. I expected a lot more, but it's just not there. So we're gonna move on to we we'll do this one first because this this has become much like you would have heard me rave on about Anna's lemonade that she does from vapeit.co.uk you would have heard me talk about that now I've been sent another lemonade juice now it's a flavor that I've become a big fan of is lemonade so just want a couple of drops one two now this isn't just a straightforward lemonade, so the lemonade to lemonade comparison stops there because it's a different sort of lemonade. This is a cool lemonade, so there's going to be either a hint of menthol or a hint of cooling in this, which should be epic. Now, Anna's lemonade was a bang on lemonade drink taste. This lemonade is more like a lemonade sweet taste. Now, I say lemonade sweet, it's like a like a fizzy lemon sort of taste with a little kick of cooling, so It's just really, really, really nice. Um, it's become much like the other lemonade. It's become another one of my. I must buy some more of this juices. Juices. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, it's a really, really good lemon flavour. And with that cooling, I'm a big fan of any sort of cooling or any sort of menthol. So for me, that is a big, big thumbs up. That isn't awesome awesome juice if you like any sort of cooling with your juice or if you like any sort of menthol with your juice and of course if you like fruit juices you have to try that juice it is really 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 good um, mm, it's a good juice right what should we go on to? I think we'll finish this video off with raspberry menthol. Now, for this one, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to dry burn this at you off. There you go. And then we're going to have two drops directly on the coil. One, two. Sort of half got it on the coal, half didn't. So, right, raspberry menthol, same ratio as before, same milligram strength as before.
Vapor production. Excelente. Throat hit because of that little bit of menthol that is in it. Excelente. Now flavour. Flavour is that same punchy raspberry that is in the raspberry standalone juice you are getting in this juice but what you're also getting in this juice is you are getting a little kick of a lovely 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 cooling menthol now this is just a plain menthol this is no added minty taste no nothing this is plain old menthol and I know this is menthol not cooling because of how much menthol I have bloody vaped this is a awesome juice Ooh. that 10 ml bottle is going to last me about half a day because I'm going to be on this all day tomorrow it is not going to last long um, it's just one of those juices when you know that you like something and then you taste that oh it's just epic <sighs> right those juices were from royalvapor.co.uk all links will be either in the description or somewhere along somewhere in here probably up there or down there there so go and try out some of these juices because they are high quality juices they come in high quality bottles and if you're like me and you like to produce clouds and clouds of vapor these will produce them I've been down for shizzle I do have raw more raw vapor reviews coming I've got another two videos worth to do so Stay tuned if you want to hear more about Raw Vapor, but for now, I've been Dan Fischel, I'll see you in the next one.